Hello everyone, I have watched a lot of videos on YouTube about creating a typewriter effect and honestly none of them quite hit the mark for me. Some videos use a box to simplify over overlap the words but when you try to implement it on a website, it just doesn't look good. Others rely on JavaScript libraries which feels like overkill for something that can be done with basic JavaScript. So in this video, I am going to teach you step by step how to create a typewriter effect using only basic JavaScript, no external libraries, no tricks. Okay, I have used this method in some of my own videos, including my uh, latest one where I made it fully responsive portfolio website. After watching this tutorial, I encourage you to check that out to see how its look work in a real website. So stick around and let's get started. So first create an uh, HTML file that is index.html and add the format okay so inside this format um, let's create uh, let's add the title first okay and after that I have created a div and added a class that uh, uh, write a text that is IMA and added a class that is typewriter okay uh, inside this div element create a span with the class name typewriter text okay uh, next to it there is a label showing a blinking cursor here a blinking cursor with the uh, represented by a vertical bar okay now let's first go live so you can see the changes clearly okay uh, just make it side by side window so you can you can guys see the effect as changes yeah now here uh, this setup is simply and allow it to dynamically update the text inside the span with our javascript code okay now let's add some styles to look better okay so here i am going to add a style tag in the head section and inside the style tag first i will add the uh, style the body with with width height and display will be flex for centering the text and background color black okay after that i'm going to uh, style the typewriter text that is color white then move to uh, typewriter text effect but before that uh, let's add the typewriter text effect okay here i'm going to give the uh, typewriter text uh, a different color which makes him different sometime okay and uh, one more thing i am going to add one more thing that is typewriter level okay uh, increase the size as same as the typewriter text uh, let me just type here something so you can see the uh, what i have changed yeah so i changed the color of the this uh, specific uh, text okay that's all okay and now uh, here let's add the script tag for adding a script okay so script dot src so i have created here a script dot js file for adding this element okay now come to this script dot js file and we start by creating an array called text okay uh, this array contain all the different word we want to display in the typewriter effect here we have three words first one is developer second one is youtuber and third one is designer okay uh, next we define a variable called speed uh, which sets the uh, typing speed the value 100 here means that each character will appear every 100 milliseconds okay now let's uh, we then use document dot query selector to select our span element with the class typewriter text okay this allows to update the content inside the span dynamically okay uh, we also need two variable to keep track where we are in the process the first one is text index which tells us about which word we are currently typed out and the second one is that is character index which keep track of the position of the character we are currently type typing within that word okay now uh, let's dive into the typewriter function which handles the typing effect so uh, here create a function that is typewriter 
and we first uh, check if we haven't finished typing the current word we do this by comparison character index with the length of the correcting word okay so here i am creating a conditional statement with the condition here and if if uh, if we are still typing we add the next character from the current word to our span using inner html and then increment character index okay so here i have added the inner html here and uh, and increment the correct index okay um we we use set timeout to control the speed of the typing by recursively calling typewriter after the speed interval okay here i am given the speed you can change the speed as you like okay uh, once the word is fully typed out we will wait a, a second where i am going to use else statement okay before moving on to the next step which is erasing the text so we have to create a function for er erase text i have named it as erase text okay for uh, a single a second okay that is in milliseconds okay so after a word is fully typed out the erase uh, function here erase function uh kicks into erase it one character at a time okay so this condition uh here i am give a condition in the erase uh text also here this condition so this condition checks if there are still character left to erase or not okay and this uh here i have created yeah this line this uh this line removes the last character of the text by slicing of the last character from the text element down in our html okay so i have used a slice uh, here uh, i am going to use a set timeout also uh, so this function calls itself uh, again after a 50 milliseconds delay to erase the next character creating the effect of the text being erased okay once all the character are erased the text index is updated to point to the next word in okay so here the percent equator yeah so here this else statement okay so here percent the percent text dot length part ensure that uh, when we reach the end of the array it loop back to the first word okay uh, character index is uh, reset to zero after typing uh, to uh, after uh, after typing the text word from the beginning okay now uh, this this calls the typewriter function again after 500 milliseconds to start typing the next word okay so finally we use uh, finally after creating this all function we have to use a, a function that is this one window dot onload and we calls the typewriter function from here okay now let's check uh, our code really works or not okay so here uh, let's save this and you can see this uh, make changes okay so our code works really fine and uh, i think i uh, explained this uh, completely without any uh, any uh, problems or anything wrong if you need any help or if you have any doubt regarding this video you can comment me and one more thing please uh, support our channel subscribe it and like it and share with others okay uh, it takes a lot of time to creating a video like this okay and that's all so that's all about today's video and thank you for watching guys and please support our channel that's all